Despite numerous efforts to empower women and ensure they take up more leadership positions, the global representation of women remains only at 4%. In Kenya, in the private sector, only 22% of women occupy leadership positions. Middle management, we are not so good, but in board positions, we actually have achieved 32% vis-a-vis a global average of women on boards of 23. So having women in all sectors of leadership, especially at the top, will ensure that we are, that we are representing and can influence policy and legislation to protect, develop, and empower more women while creating an enabling environment in which to do our businesses. We need to move together as a unified front and, de and develop a formidable force. There is unity in numbers, um, and numbers are exactly what drive transformation. We had Honorable Chai Tingilu, who ran for presidency in 1997, and Honorable Martha, who ran um, for presidency in 2013, and various other women who have come forward in 2022. But let me tell you, this nomination is of historic importance. And why? Qualitatively different. It's the first recognition by a major political coalition with a realistic chance of winning the presidency. That a woman at the top ticket is more possible than ever before. And that's why we celebrate Mother this morning. So if you are wondering why, this is the reason we do. So it's for season for women to move to higher places, especially in the political arena. And at such a time as this, a time to bring back integrity, professionalism, and leadership that is not based on a tribe. You know, we are here with all colors and with all tribes that are represented in this country, celebrating mother, not because of her tribe, but because of who she is and what she stands for. So Honorable Mother and all the other competitors and compatriots, we are looking forward to having a peaceful election. I will say in Kenya it's about leadership. And I think that is what we are looking for. Good leadership. You are here as CEOs, you are here as women in business, you can't succeed. If there isn't Wongozi, Bora, good leadership. Yeah, so what we must be focused on is what type of leadership will secure our country, will secure the business environment. I want to add to you the definition of politics. It's the art of living. Politics will determine your social, your political, your economic environment. The business environment can be fouled or improved by politics. And I think if you look at the last 20 years, you know that. It's a bad situation when we start accepting something deep down in you, you know it's not right. When we start taking quality that is so poor and you are used to better quality, there's also quality in leadership. So please, just like in business, because business people do understand quality, let us go for quality leadership. And it's not just the top. Let's begin at the lowest. And we promise you to work with you, not just now, even afterwards, because human beings need to be reminded. We need to be told when we veer off the road. It sometimes can get irritating, but please irritate us continuously. Because keeping people on their toes includes irritating them when it is necessary. Even if I don't smile when you tell me, keep telling me. You know? It is necessary, and I know I may not answer you and tell you, yes, you've done a good thing, but I know your words will come back to me at night, and I'll wake up a better person. That's really be my keeper, I be your keeper. In spite of all the hardships, we have risen to the calling, and I want us to rise to continue nurturing this nation and giving it good leadership. And I don't mind, even if we are called iron women and we haven't seen the iron men, <laughs> let us know that tomorrow our daughters will not have the names because the leadership of women will be the norm. Yes. And it is beginning to be the norm. Yes. 